Sure, Matt. Uh, just uh, how did everything go today with you all going inside and so forth, getting ready for uh, the, the season finale against Tampa Bay? Yeah, I thought I thought we had a, a good start uh, to the week today. I thought, um, you know, the, the mindset was right on the field. Um, and, you know, it's it's one of those things you got to stay locked in. You got to be ready to go. And uh, I thought the guys did a good job of that today. And, um, you know, how do you, uh, you know, you, you, how do you uh, handle, uh, you know, a guy like Dante Fowler comes in, expectations are high, and he has a battle through a, a lot of different things this year to, uh, you know, and just try to get, get on the field and play? Yeah, it's, uh, you never know how years are going to shake out. And, um, you know, obviously this year didn't shake out the way we all would have uh, liked for it um, to have done. But, uh, you know, you, you, you've got to keep working at it and, and you got to stay positive and, and keep that kind of mindset. And I think uh, all of us, you know, have, have worked at that this year. Tori? Hi, Matt. I know there's still one game left, and I know that's what y'all are focusing on this week. But, you know, there is a lot of change potentially coming. How much do you think about what's coming in the next month or so for this organization and how much is that in the back of your head if at all uh i mean there'll be you know plenty of time to to you know worry about that and and uh you know get better informed on on that next week and so right now uh you know i'm just staying focused on um you know going and and get myself prepared and finding a way to win on sunday uh and you know whatever happens you know next week can can wait until then uh, I've always, you know, felt like, uh, you know, worrying about things in the future or, you know, putting your eyes past the the things that are right in front of you, you know, take away from me being at my best. And, uh, you know, so I just try and stay focused on that. Even with the record being what it is, what do you hope the 2020 season showed potentially a new general manager about about the Falcons organization from your perspective? Yeah, I think, um, you know, I, I think. I've, I've said this a number of times. I think that the margin um, in this league is is very fine. You know, it's very small. And the difference between, in, uh, you know, having the home seed in the uh, AFC, you know, and, and where we were uh, at, at four and 11, you know, isn't much. Uh, you know, I feel like we've got a, a good core group of guys here that uh, you can build on, uh, you know, and, and, uh, I, I think we've been competitive. We just haven't f found a way to, to get the job done uh, in, in finishing situations enough this year. And, and that's something we definitely have to improve at moving forward. Jason? Hey, Matt. Um, you know, heading into this final game, uh, how would you sum up this season, you know, starting from the, the pandemic, the coaching change, and just how the players have been able to respond uh, through 15 games entering one more? Yeah, it's been it's been a it's been a strange year for sure. I think like uh, so many people in in all kinds of uh, different you know professions and, and walks of life. I mean, it's uh, it's been unique, uh, disappointing, you know for sure. Uh, up until this point, hopefully we can finish it with a positive. But uh, there's there's been a lot of of chances that we've had uh, that that we didn't capitalize on, and our story could be a lot different, uh, you know, ha had had we done that. So. Um, you know, disappointing, but, you know, it's it's something that you have to learn from and, and hopefully be better uh, for it moving forward. And, um, you know, one of your teammates, uh, Alex Mack, you know, he, he's been 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 the guy <laughs> for you uh, for these last five years. Um, what's he meant to your career? Um, obviously, you know, this could could not be his final game as a Falcon with the contract, uh, you know, uh, expiring. So just kind of what's what's he been what's he meant to you uh, throughout his time here? Well, he's he's been a ton. Um, you know, he is an awesome teammate. Uh, he gives you everything he's got uh, mentally, physically, uh, emotionally, every every, you know, ounce of, of what he has. He's, you know, given uh, to our team week in and week out. Uh, he's a good friend. He's, he's just a, you know, really good person. And I've uh, been lucky, you know, to, to have spent five years with him. Uh, it goes by quickly. You know, I feel like he just got here, but, um, you know, I've, I've really enjoyed it. And, uh, he's, he's been a, you know, he's been such a rock, uh, for our organization at that position, uh, for a long time. And, uh, we've been able to depend on him and I've certainly been able to, uh, depend on him. Will McFadden. 
Hey, Matt. Um, you know, I, I know your chemistry with Calvin heading into the year was already in a really great spot. Um, but without Julio on the field for the last few games, has your faith, confidence, you know, connection with him grown even more in kind of an in-game setting with him being the number one guy out there? Uh, you know, it, it was already there. there. There's no doubt about it. You know, I trust him to to go out and, you know, make plays. And uh, he's just got such a, re- you know, a, a, a skill set that's really difficult to defend. And, uh, you know, he's, he's a lot of fun to play with. I think, you know, your confidence just continues to grow, though. You know, as high as it was uh, coming into the year, and it has been all year, uh, with what he's doing, it, you know, you you only get more and more confident uh, and and believe him in him more and more. And uh, we're certainly lucky to have him. He's going to be a great player for a long time. And looking at, ahead at, at Tampa, this obviously the second time that, that you've seen him. What what maybe are you expecting this time around, given the way that they played you all uh, just you know two weekends ago? Yeah, I mean, I I think they're a team that. Uh, you know, gives you a lot of different looks in terms of pressures and uh, you have to be on top of, of your pass protection. Um, you know, we'd obviously love to be able to run it a little better than we did against them last time, stay a little bit more balanced, keep them a little bit more off, uh, off balance. And, um, you know, but I, I would expect probably a lot of the same things. I mean, Todd has, has been a great coordinator. Uh, Todd Bowles has been a great coordinator in this league for a long time. And uh, he, he certainly knows what he's doing. Justin Felder. Hey, Matt, uh, this is a really imperfect comparison, but you hear a lot in college football. If you win your bowl game, the offseason's a lot more fun, a lot better feeling. Last year in week 17, you went to Tampa to end the season with a win. Is there any kind of similar residual good feelings from that, uh, from getting a win in week 17 that you can take into an offseason, even if the hole wasn't as good as you would have liked? I, I definitely think it beats the alternative. You know, it's, it's, it's not, it's never fun going in with a loss. So, uh, yeah, I think, you know, I, I do think there are, I think, you know, particularly for, for younger guys that, uh, you know, I, I'm a believer that you have to learn how to do it in this league. You have to learn how to play well. You have to learn how to uh, get yourself prepared. You learn, have to learn how to win games. And, uh, you know, I think those experiences are always valuable and, and there's always things to build on. Uh, so, you know, I, I, I definitely think there is merit to that. And I got a question from d in the chat here. Coach Arian said earlier this week they uh, wanted to get focus on stopping Calvin and getting more pressure on you. How are you guys going to plan to counter that? Yeah, well, we, we'd obviously like to, to not have that happen. You know, we're focused on protecting me and trying to get Calvin open. <laughs> and so, uh, you know, that's why you work all week. Uh, but in terms of countering it, you know, when, when Calvin gets his one-on-one matchups, we got to trust him to win. And then other guys, you know, have to step up and make plays. And I think if we can run the ball efficiently, that's going to help us. Allison. Hey, Matt, 2020 has been just unprecedented for everybody. And without looking at wins and losses, just what have you learned about yourself and the team with just all the changes and, and adapting to this pandemic season? Yeah, I think it's, you know, I've, I've definitely learned a lot about uh, being flexible and, and you know, changing routines. Uh, our routines have have constantly had to change throughout the year in, in order to adapt for, you know, different protocols that have come up in regards to COVID. Uh, and I feel like I've learned how to be a little bit more efficient, um, you know, which is a good thing moving forward. You know, there are there are ways, uh, you know, to communicate so much better. Uh, as a result of this, where you don't constantly have to be in the building. And uh, I think that's a positive moving forward, you know, because uh, getting rested and, and staying fresh, all those things are, are huge. And uh, I think, you know, I've certainly, you know, put more tools in the toolbox this year of learning how to uh, get things done and, and not always having to be in the building. George Henry. Yeah, Matt, you you mentioned the uh, getting the running game going. What's going to be the key? Because you guys uh, averaged four and a half, four point six yards per carry last week, so you, it looked looked pretty robust. What's going to be the key to keep to getting it going this week? Well, I think number one, we've got to play well up front, and you know it's it's a very good defense against the run. They're physical, 
Uh, defensive line is very physical. They've got two really fast and, and athletic linebackers. Uh, you know, so for us, it's it's a it's going to be about getting hats on hats uh, up front and making sure that uh, we're giving our backs lanes uh, and opportunities. Uh, and then our backs have to do a great job of finishing runs, uh, finding ways to to get the dirty two, three, four extra yards uh, at the end of runs. If if they can get that going for us, which I thought we did a nice job of last week, uh, that that helps us.